governor. We have the lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania standing by live for us. John Fetterman joins us right now. Um, lieutenant governor, thank you, sir, for coming on. We appreciate it. I, I, what would you add to what the governor said? Maybe you have an update on how the count is going as the Trump campaign not only threatens lawsuits, but claims victory in the state of Pennsylvania. Sure. Well, let me, let me just say that the count is going great and it's going to continue. They can bring a thousand lawyers to Pennsylvania or they can hold as many, you know, they can stand on a, on a corner in Philadelphia and yell at whoever they want. It's not going to change the fact. And, and just let me say what, you know, what a sad day it is, uh, you know, for, for the campaign and, and American democracy. It's just, it's just so weird and desperate to show up in, you know, on a Philadelphia street corner talking about you won. It's like, that'd be like me announcing, you know, I have a full head of hair, you know, just because you say something, you know, doesn't mean it's true. I mean, it's bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. Like we're counting our votes. Well, one of the, nothing they can do can stop One that. of the things that they're going to say, apparently, and we'll see when you know, Rudy Giuliani and company come out in that uh, Philadelphia news conference you reference is, that their one of their lawsuits will be based on the fact that the the deadline for ballots coming in was changed, they say, and that that shouldn't have happened yeah. by the secretary of Kathy Bookfar, and you have now until Fridays. What's your response to that? My response to that is is that it's two separate issues. The ballots that are already in possession of the respective counties arrived well before or on election day. That's a second group of votes that would be received at eight o'clock or eight o'clock yesterday or today, tomorrow, or Friday, and they've already been sequestered. So that's a separate and distinct decision. Now, if they want to sue about those, that's fine. But you can't sue about the votes that were legally received on election by election day and are being counted by counties all across Pennsylvania. And right now, there are more than enough ballots of those variety in county positions to trend in a direction that would likely deliver Joe Biden, uh, Pennsylvania for Joe Biden. It's just math. But you, you, we're going to let that process play out. I mean, I don't know what the final result is. You know, that they don't know what it is. But we're going to find out what the final vote count is. And they're welcome to sue on, on the latter. But there's very two specific points. And to come in and stand on, 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 on a street corner in Philadelphia and say, we won Pennsylvania. It's like, you know, like, like LOL. I mean, like you know, like it's just bizarre. I mean, it's it's like a, a, a bad a bad House of Cards episode. You know, as you're speaking, um, Lieutenant Governor, I guess we did get now KYW in Philly has a shot up from the streets of Philadelphia, and this is an outdoor event. As Grady said, they moved it around a couple of times. Now they have a microphone uh, set up, and maybe we will hear some more specifics on on what they're saying. Um, do you have anything you can add on timetable? I know. Secretary Bookfar was saying maybe we will hear earlier than Friday, earlier in the week. People have been telling us, oh, you can be patient, it might be Friday. Any, anything you can tell us on the actual yeah. timing of the vote count? Yeah, let me talk about transparency, too. You can literally watch Philadelphia count their votes. There's a website. It's broadcast on the Internet. You can watch from anywhere in the world and watch Philadelphia count its votes. Because so that's just a ridiculous and outlandish claim. These votes are being counted, and they very, very well could be finished by the end of the week. Again, two separate issues, the ballots that we received on Election Day and the ballots that we will receive after 8 p.m. and today, tomorrow, and Friday. Those are separate and distinct issues. A lawsuit on the latter is their prerogative. Uh, what they're doing right now is, is a level of bizarre and sad that I, I can't remember the last time I've witnessed. All right, we're going to watch this, and we'll see what happens. This news conference has been pushed back a couple of times today already. Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, thank you for your time. Yeah.